Hey guys, it's Christina with the uh, Geocache Family Farm. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, we are in Colorado, growing zone uh, 5B. I am still trying to recover from whatever is going on. I don't know if it's sinus infection, allergies, cold. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, but I had to get my... Um, Lysianthus dealt with they were drying out too much um, and so I uh, I decided to try and get a little bit of my energy put into this today um, just so that I can save them they're too much work they are already about I want to say four weeks old five weeks old um, we are right at a month I think and um, they're they're doing great, but I need to be able to get to the point where I can start fertilizing them and um, helping them to get bigger. Um, these silver baking pans are great for doing soil blocks into because they help keep, at least where I am, um, we're very dry. We have no humidity here at all. And so it helps keep the humidity in. Um, even without having a lid on it. <clears throat> if I have a lid on it, then um, it helps it stay really moist. Um, but I am still playing around with uh, humidity, seedlings, um, and being in Colorado. And so these guys looked rough. And so what I did is I just went ahead and I had four trays of them and different germinations on each. I just went ahead and just planted them all together. I don't care what colors they are. Um, or anything like that. I just want them to, you know, get deeper roots and stay healthy um, and not need quite as much misting. And so I'm hoping that this will help it. So I have, I, I want to say between the two trays now, probably close to 200 different Lizzie's. And that is um, great for only my second year growing them. I need to really start looking at up potting. These uh, sweet peas also are ready to go out into the greenhouse. So if they can just give me a couple more days, I will take them out and then cover them with a frost cloth. If you're new to our channel, we just bought our farm um, one year ago. And uh, it has been a childhood dream to start a farm. I didn't know I was going to be going the flower route. Um, but uh, that just fell into place. And so I'm going to run with it and just see how I do. But um, we had a rough, we had a great test year, but also a rough um, test year. And so um, we're still learning and employing our mantra of growing as we go. And so um, let me show you the um, first set of seedlings, which is basically everybody down here. Uh, I did just initial germination on the heat mats and then took them off, left the dome maybe a day. Now, these are my snaps. I mean, they're looking, they're looking okay. Um, not the best germination. There's a lot of little guys that are just now starting to come up. Uh, so not the greatest, but you know, all right. The second, uh, sets that I did. I left the domes on even longer. Look at these guys inside of these that I've left them on. I've just left the, the domes on them. I've taken them off of the heat mats, but I've left the domes on them. Look at how great those look. But I mean, these guys just, they don't, oh, the ones without the domes don't look great. But the ones that do look fantastic. So um, I'm just leaving it on. It's not snap shut. It's just sitting on top. But look at these guys. I mean, gosh, they look fantastic. This is the second succession of stock of what I had left. And oh, these guys I actually want to look at closely to see if I have any doubles in here. All right, so that little guy's struggling there, but okay, so there's a double. 
That one's a double. That one's a double. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, maybe 27, 27. Wow, I had a lot more doubles that time. <clears throat> yeah, so um, in theory, these guys are almost ready to go up into the next size blocks which I may go ahead and just keep in these metal trays, but make the next size. But I just wanted to take care of the ones that don't have the um, domes on them right now because they, uh, they, they just need some extra loving. <laughs> I'm looking at trying to uh, start nursery seedlings at the same time of doing for the um, you pick and florist side of things. That's why I'm still kind of focusing on these cooler plants. Oh my goodness, look at this. These are my Bells of Ireland. Mm, he looks like he struggled with transplant. That one might have struggled with transplant. That one definitely died. But, wow, they're looking good. And the other ones, I don't know, they, just, they, don't, they don't look all that great. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have some other ones I need to get into the ground. So, I am going to do that. A few of them just dried out. Okay, so these guys might be priority. But I may have to go nap first and then come back because I'm definitely struggling. It took me all morning just to do all of the uh, Lysianthus for the Sweet Williams. And they look like they need some TLC also. At least that corner's dried out. <laughs> oh, this is when it's so hard. I didn't get sick. Dang it. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's Saturday the 4th of... February. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep plugging along and <laughs> see how much I can get done. Well, anyway, I just wanted to share that. At least I removed those trays. And then I might have to reseed some of these guys because they look kind of rough. And these are the poppies I just potted. They're actually looking pretty good. Um, they were struggling with these guys. These guys need handled. <laughs> But all these guys, they're just, they're so dang dry. And so trying to stay on top of keeping them moist is a pain. So these are the ones that I'm trying to, like these guys that I moved into these, they're starting to look much better. I don't know what happened with these guys. As soon as I took that dome off, they like fried. So I'm just letting these guys kind of do their thing and see if they recover from it. Um, and then I'll put them into individual cells. So anyway, I, I gotta finish getting these guys watered. I didn't do it yesterday because I'm not feeling good. All right, what is it? He was in my soil with my baby Lizzie's. I thought it was a baby worm, but there's actual antenna. He's almost uh, there. You can see his antennas. He's so tiny. All right. Well, can you pick a plant and put him in? I. Uh, Soaked my ranunculus from last year for about four hours. It's actually closer to five because the dirt was on them still. And um, I don't know if they are going to survive or not. Um, there's dark spots. So um, I'm just going to put them in the dirt and um, see what they do. Uh, it doesn't hurt to try. 
And um, there was a lot of babies. I haven't even gotten through soaking all of them yet. And this is just one tray full of them. So even if I get, just get a few out of here, it, it was worth it. But I'll definitely have to work on storage for next year. Yeah, I, uh, I waited too long. <laughs> Editing Christina here. These are the rest of the Bells of Ireland that I had pre-sprouted after cold stratifying in the freezer. Um, I let them go too long inside of the Ziploc bags. Oh, please don't be mad at me. It has a very long root. It does, and I don't want to snap it, and I don't want him getting hurt. Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm a bad mom. Okay, I'll have to get more soil probably, but. Okay, how many more is in there that are like that? Four. Oh. oh, and then you have to do surgery to get them out because they're stuck in the paper towel. Ugh. They latched onto it pretty strongly. Look at it. Wow. Oh, <clears throat> I'm not even caring which um, varieties these are anymore. <laughs> I just want to get them. These ones were the Eden Brothers, but I got them mixed up. And honestly, it's just if, as long as they're growing, I'm happy. Okay, there's that one. Two more left. It's amazing that they did so well. I know. So putting them in the freezer prior to the paper towels definitely worked really well. Oh, it's a long route. Yep. And if I can get these guys to adulthood, this is a pretty good first year of Bells of Ireland. But Better than any you've had. I've never I've been able to get them even this far. Last year they died in the tray. That one started, but anytime I take them when they're this small, they don't grow up. But I have been leaving the domes on, which are keeping it humid, so maybe that will make the difference. I don't think I see any more. Alright, well that's that one. Okay, I'm uh, I don't know if I should mess with the rest of these seeds or not. Maybe I'll just throw them in the dirt around it and just see what happens. That'd be fun. I don't know though, because I'm already running out of space. I guess I could stick them in here. Yeah. Alright, so I'll just go grab some dirt and I'll just throw all the rest of the seeds in there and we'll just see what happens.